quick, a story. The year is 2021, and on this channel, we leak the first look at the Google Pixel Watch a year and a half early, and soon after, the brand new redesigned Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, and we also leaked Android 12, but who's keeping track? How does Google respond? They just start to outright show their own products early, at events, giving us our first official look at Pixel Watch, confirming that, and then just deciding to show us Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro way, way early. Let me give you an early preview so you can see what's coming this fall. Here's a first look at the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. Basically preventing me from leaking their products by leaking their products themselves. That's some big brain moves. Now it's the end of 2022, the year is almost over, and it's my turn to respond. Let's talk Pixel Fold. That's right, today we have your first look at one of Google's most secretive projects yet, because yes, the Pixel Fold is real. The amount of sneaky that we had to be to get this information is borderline impressive but we have a lot to share. If you're new here, these are 3D renders based on images and other stuff that I received from sources. To protect those sources, we digitally recreate what we saw so that we can share it with you. Win-win. And uh, without telling you exactly why, let's just say I'm very, very confident in this information. I know it's a foldable phone, but I think my favorite part of this is the back, this camera bar here. It's not an exact copy of the Pixel 7 rear camera bar, but it is definitely close, shares the same design language. But arguably, I would say that this looks better. The whole device is kinda big. There's a reason internally it has been called Project Passport. It is not all plastic and cheap feeling. And speaking of cheap, it is not that, but we'll get to that in a sec. Metal and glass is what it's made of, reminiscent of the Pro phones. It's so super highly polished, and as of now, it only comes in two colors, chalk, so white, and obsidian, black. On the outside, you have a display that looks like well, a pixel display. A pretty respectable full display with a 9.5 megapixel hole punch camera on top. Things get a little weirder though when you open this impressive hinge. On the inside, you'll find this massive display with massive bezels. That's right, there's no hole punch camera or under display camera with this. The front facing selfie camera is boop, right up there on the right side. Weird placement but you know, Google. Oh, and that too is 9.5 megapixels. So I would assume the same camera that's on the front. There were two main internal prototypes of this device. One did not have a camera on the inside at all, but the version that we saw, likely the final version, does. We also saw the final wallpapers, but uh, for obvious reasons, we cannot share them right now. So instead we put our own here and when the device comes out, uh, I think these will make sense. You know what else makes sense? Today's sponsor. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna. Well, there's more Pixel Fold stuff after the sponsor break. When I go to a pharmacy, it never fails. I either wait till the last minute, or by the time I get there, I'm stuck in a line. And there's two things I hate the most in this world: minutes and lines. That's why I use Amazon Pharmacy. Yep, that Amazon. Amazon Pharmacy delivers a better, more convenient pharmacy experience that delivers medications directly to your door and works with most insurance plans. And because it's Amazon, the pricing is transparent, so you know exactly what you'll pay before you pay it. And also because it's Amazon, Prime members can save up to 80% off of their prescriptions. And if you have any questions at all, a real Amazon pharmacist is available to chat at any time, day or night. Switch to Amazon Pharmacy and save time, save money and stay healthy. Learn more at amazon.com slash FPT. That's amazon.com slash FPT. Average savings based on usage and inside RX data as compared to cash prices. Average savings for all generics are 78%, 37% for select brand medications. Restrictions apply. And of course, thanks to Amazon for sponsoring this episode. Oh, hey, welcome back. Okay, so Pixel Fold. As far as we know, that is the name. Without going into too much detail, based on what we saw, the name is still, quote, to be confirmed. Like, maybe Google is waiting on trademarking that name officially, so it doesn't get out, uh, but internally and on stuff, they are calling it Pixel Fold. As you can see, this thing is big and it is metal, so yes, 
It's heavy. One source said, and I quote, It's really f heavy. End quote. You'll find speakers on the top and on the bottom next to that USB-C port. Oh, and that thing up here on the top is the millimeter wave antenna, 5G. The power button on the side also doubles as a fingerprint reader. So there's that. Oh, and all of these renders, as per usual, we are giving you the full res files to work with. So if you are in the press and you want to write articles or you're a YouTuber and want to use these in your videos, you are more than welcome to. The full res files are linked in the description or over on frontpagetech.com. Please don't just take screenshots of this episode. That looks terrible. Thanks. This fold project, codenamed Passport, like I said, a codename that makes total sense now, has been pushed back a few times, but as of now, release date is set for May of 2023. It's to be released alongside the Pixel tablet, and the price is, wait for it, $1,799. $1,799. So after years of speculation, now you know it's real, you've seen Pixel Fold for yourself for the first time. One, do you want it? And two, are you willing to spend a crappy car amount of money on it? Okay, class, to recap, not only did you get to see the Pixel Fold, but now you know the name, the colors, the release date, and the price, and some other stuff. Your move, Google,